I'm CM Coleman and welcome to CM Coleman Home. Today we're going to make onion bagels and these are onion water bagels because they're really easy to make and most bagels that you eat are water bagels but if you don't follow this one tiny step they will come out horrible. So I'm going to tell you what the step, step is when we get to it but the first part is simple and I'm using my handy dandy bread maker set on the dough setting and I'm going to add one and a quarter cup of warm water put that down in there make sure it's all hooked up and everything make sure your paddle which for some reason I just did not put mine in there uh, make sure it is all set which it doesn't seem to want to be set doesn't seem to want to set up but yours will go quickly so we are all secure in there. Next I'm going to add, and do this in the order that your manufacturer recommends, not just the order that I'm telling you. Check your instructions. I'm going to add an eighth of a teaspoon of sea salt. Uh, to that I'm going to add three and a half cups of flour. That is just regular ordinary boring flour. I've got two tablespoons of sugar, a quarter of a cup of chopped dry, it's dried chopped onions, dried chopped onions, one tablespoon of uh, yeast. That's it. Now we're just going to hit start and then we'll let it go and it'll do its first rise and we'll come back after it's done. Our uh, bagels have been, you know, they've gone through their cycle. It's been about an hour and a half. I am now, and I'm going to use a lot of flour, I'm going to punch the dough down, I'm going to sprinkle some flour on the top because that will help me deal with the dough in there, keeping it from sticking. And I'm scraping out the dough. It's still a pretty sticky dough, and a lot of that's going to depend upon your weather and those sort of things in your area. Uh, but getting the dough out on the board. It smells wonderful. There we go. I'll put that off to the side. It is, like I said, it's a pretty sticky dough. That's why I have the extra flour. And I'm going to work this extra flour in just a bit so that way I don't have any problems later on. Get the dough off my hands. So I'm working it in just a bit. There we go. Alright, now what I'm going to do, oh, I love warm, warm dough, I'm going to do this the easy way. Taking the dough, I divide it in half. Then, divide the dough in half again. Then divide the dough in half again. So what I'm getting is, I'm getting eight fair, <laughs> fairly equal size balls of dough. Eight of them. Then, I'm just going to take each ball and round it up. And right now, we're also going to play with making sure that they're eh, somewhat the same size. All right. Now, I can look at them and say, hey, there's one that's a little bigger than the other ones. We'll work that together. Alright, then I can just punch through, punch my finger through. These, these are bagels, so it doesn't have to be like stunningly spectacular. I flatten them out a bit, put my finger, put my thumb through, and make a circle. <laughs> Pretty easy and fast. Flatten just a bit, put my finger through, and I have a circle. I will do this for all eight bagels, and you see how fast this is going. I mean like incredibly fast. There we go. Only three more left to go. And so that's why I sort of like doing some of these things is you can see them in real time. Alright. Eight bagels. Done. I have a damp dishcloth that I'm going to now cover my bagels over and let them rest for 10 minutes 
While they are resting, I'm going to clean this up and then start a pot of water on the stove and let it come to a boil and I'm going to start my oven. I'm going to preheat it up to 425 degrees. So you got that? The bagels are covered. I'm going to start a pot of boiling water and then I'm going to preheat my oven to 425 degrees. We'll be back in just a minute. Now what we're going to do is we are going to take one tablespoon of baking soda. That's one tablespoon of baking soda. You can't skip this step. If you skip this step, it's not going to happen. So take that one tablespoon of baking soda and put it into the boiling pot of water and we'll go over there and we'll see what's happening. I'm going to add the one tablespoon of baking soda, you be careful with yours, and turn the heat down. Then we're going to add the bagels. We'll add just a few at a time. Looks like only two. We will boil these for one minute on one side, flip them over, and then boil them for another minute. After one minute, flip the bagels over and boil for another minute. After one minute on both sides, remove the bagels from the water, place them onto the pan, and put your next set of bagels in. Once all the bagels have come out of the boiling water, you then put them on a pan, and I've relined this with the parchment paper, and then we're going to bake them in the oven for 15 to 18 minutes until they're golden brown. After 15 to 18 minutes, they should be golden brown. Remove them from the oven and then take a look. We'll give you a close-up shot of these. They look wonderful and smell even better. I really hope you've enjoyed this. Don't forget to check out my fan funding page, which keeps this site going, and we'll bring you other recipes. And then we'll get a glamour shot at the end, maybe a little music underneath it. <laughs> I really do hope you try this. These are so good. I'm CM Coleman and I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please click like. Also, you can favorite and share it on social media. Don't forget to check out my other channels, CM Coleman Home, CM Coleman Daily, and CM Coleman Games. Once again, I'm CM Coleman and make yourself at home.